Did you do it? No. I was looking at 30 years to life. You think I'd do well in the pen? Fuck no. I played down, man. Sexual assault one. No jail time. I've been unemployed for the past eight years because I have to write sexual offender on every job application. I'm on the neighborhood watch list because I'm registered as a predator everywhere I go. I haven't had a date in over a decade because when a girl Googles me... Okay, so... I meet Amy at this party, okay? We click. She's perfect. She's beautiful. She's smart. She's well-rounded. She's got an ass like a 20-year-old stripper. And I think, what's the catch? A few months later, it hits me. This is not going to be easy. Okay. Girls like a fixer-upper, but Amy... She annexed me. She made me her business. It, it was too much, okay? She'd buy me all these ties, and we must have went 20 rounds alone from that. So finally, I just... I break up with her, okay? I back off. I give her her space. I think nothing of it, you know? What, what could happen? Then one night, Amy shows up at my house. She's got a bottle of bourbon and this bootleg of a band that I love. And within minutes, she's got my pants around my ankles and she's, you know, been down her knees. And I'm sorry, Nick. I, I know it's your wife, but we had sex. Consensual, okay? It was rough, but she was screaming for it the whole time. The next morning, two cops show up at my door. Amy has wounds consistent with rape. Ligature marks on her wrist, and my semen. It looks like I tied her to the bed and raped her. Me. And you know what else they find? Headboards on each side. You do know your wife. She framed me with the ties that I wouldn't wear.